So in the last video, Raman Maharishi was talking about when will the thought will finally get resolved or when will the thought will be disappeared or finally destroyed, right? So when will we transcend these thoughts? And the Raman Maharishi answers, when your realization of the self arises higher and higher, these thoughts get dissolved by themselves, right? And then he says, instead of pursuing these thoughts, when the thought arises, one should inquire into the nature of, one should quickly ask, who am I? So that one can get out of that process. Otherwise, it multiplies, right? So instead of multiplying and engaging in the thoughts, uh, you need to destroy them by asking or by inquiring, who am I, right? By this uh, delusion right there. And now, Siprakashan Phila is asking that uh, how long this practice of who am I needs to be done, right? How long this inquiry needs to be done? And the Raman Maharshi answers that as long as there are past impressions, you need to inquire into this, uh, who am I? You need to do this inquiry. And then he says, this, when the thought is arising, you need to destroy them right at the origin, right? He's kind of a reinforcing the same thing. He says, when the thought is arising, you need to work on the origin itself. Not like an afterward you are thinking and <laughs> contemplating how can I handle it better next time and all that. No. So you have to work with the reality, right? So when the thought is arising, you actually have to work on the origin and you have to uh, do the inquiry right there to destroy them, right? And then he says that unless one has a self-realization, again, he's kind of reinforcing the same thing from the last uh, uh, question, that as long, once the self-realization uh, of the self rises higher and higher, these thoughts get resolved by themselves, right? So he says, until that happens, until that realization of the self comes, uh, one should constantly practice this inquiry, right? One should constantly contemplate about the self, right? Uh, and that way, one gets established, right? That way, uh, these things finally get resolved. Two parts. One is like you are working on the thoughts because they are keep overpowering you. So one thing is we are working on that thought layer and he's saying at, right at the origin you need to ask, you need to inquire right at the origin uh, who am I and what is my relationship with that, right? So that you can come out of it and then you need to use um, uh, your awareness to realize what exactly you are. Contemplate about yourself, right? And you need to do it constantly unless you, uh, unless you get that realization. Right? And once you get the realization, uh, it's kind of a game over, right? So, okay, so the first thing is, as long as there are past impressions, these thoughts are going to keep arising, right? So what are the past experiences, first of all? Right? They are also called some scars. So the past experiences are one that got stuck in our system, right? Either we cling to something or we try to resist something, but anyway, the experience didn't pass away through us and it got stuck in our system. For example, um, you know, maybe when we are small, we did something and people praised us, right? Let's say in the class teacher praised us, right? It felt very nice, so we cling to that experience. And now we are trying to praise every, we are trying to, you know, uh, gain acceptance of everybody. It may not be appear as at verbose that I'm trying to do that, but mind is very cunning. If you see the underlying current, you will see a lot of things we do is to just, you know, uh, impress other people for their acceptance, right? The same thing. So now these kind of thoughts are not coming by themselves, right? So behind them is these past impression that we cling to. So sometimes we cling to this, you know, this feeling of acceptance and this feeling of praise and reputation. Now these clinging are creating all these thoughts. I need to do this. I need to buy a car or something like this that we are not even aware. We just feel like I want to do this. I feel like doing this. But behind the scene, these uh, past impressions are creating these thoughts. They are not coming by themselves, right? This is like a, uh, you know, this is a system. This is almost like a mathematical system that it creates very predictable thoughts based on whatever is our uh, past impressions are inside us, right? So he says, as long as these past impressions are there, the thoughts are going to come, right? And then he says, uh, it kind of reinforce again, when these thoughts come, right? Let's the thought of, uh, I need to buy a car comes, right? He says, do not follow them. Please do not follow them, right? He says, inquire right there. If you want to be free out of it, right? Because buying the car will not end there. There will be another thought. And the thought will be again about, you know, how to impress other people, something like that, right? So because the route is right there. So you're not coming out, you know, you're just running in the circles. So he's saying, when these thoughts are coming, do not follow them. 
try to inquire right at the origin of it who am i or right you need to inquire right at the origin right you need to inquire with the real stuff you are in the group of the people some for some reason you feel like i don't feel good here i want to go out right there i want to go out i don't feel good you need to ask this question of who am i right there right with the real thoughts not like when you go back home now you are thinking why didn't i feel good maybe because of something like that that won't be helpful right that won't be helpful he is saying you have to work at the origin of thoughts if you want to surpass it right so if you ask uh, uh, inquire if you do, do the inquiry you can get out of the whole process right there otherwise this thing will continue for some time and then there will be another process and another process another thought process and that way it continues right <clears throat> so he's asking is sort of build this practice of you know when the thought is arising as soon as you catch them get out of them get out of the whole process right there in the beginning with the real thoughts not like you know you are solving them later so that is one part <clears throat> that he is telling currently we are stuck we are we are so overpowered by these thoughts and emotions that is a mind blowing right it's running our life so he's saying the first thing is you need to work that way so you get some space right uh, so you do not like keep multiplying them so one thing is you're working on the layer of thoughts to getting out of the layer of thoughts by inquiring who am i and what is my relationship with that right and that way you are creating the distance and then he says you have to constantly ask Uh, you have to constantly do the contemplation on the self what exactly you are if you are not this then what exactly you are right and this practice has to be done consistently right this is right this is what he is saying you have to constantly contemplate of the self unless you have that realization once you have the realization then you are done right but unless that happen you are stuck in a very dangerous situation right because your thoughts are keep multiplying them you you know your impression your past impressions are keep multi it's almost like a uh, tree that is keep growing right so uh, and you are going to get keep you are going to get more and more you know uh, uncomfortable or whatever but this process will continue right so he is saying unless you get the self realization you need to do this consistently right consistently mean day and night kind of consistent and this is common among all the tradition again right the buddha was talking about the practice satipatthana when you practicing this you have to do it consistently by consistently means like not even a moment is missing you are doing it all the time yoga sutra says the same thing the practice has to be done abhyasa has to be done consistently and this is not like you are doing meditation 24/7 kind of thing but it is more like um, this internal job has to be done consistently right this kind of uh, when the thought is arising and overpowering us instead of letting them overpower you need to get out of them and you need to push put your style back into the seat of self this process has to be done consistently inside externally people won't even know whether somebody is doing or not doing it how does it matter but internally this process has to be done consistently if you want to get out of this right and that is the practice that ramon mahesh is saying this consistency of the practice has to be there and then he finally finally finished the question with uh, an analogy he is saying imagine you are protecting a fortress right you are in a war you are in a battlefield so as long as there are enemies they are going to come forward right so he is saying this past impression or this undigested experience these are like enemies and they are going to keep creating thoughts right and you need to destroy these enemies when they are arising right at the beginning right otherwise they will overpower you otherwise they, they will spread all over the place and uh, you know you will be defeated whatever but you need to work on the origin of it right you need to work when they are arising you need to uh, destroy them right and right there right and if you continue doing this eventually the fortress will fall into your hand right that ultimately you will have the self realization and uh, then this whole process reverses right okay